morning. I'm Sarah Foy, and here's today's top story. Today is the 65th anniversary of the day the microwave was invented. It was today in 1946 when Percy L. Spencer of Raytheon was testing a new vacuum tube called a magnetron when he discovered that he, the candy bar in his pocket had melted. As you can see, the microwave oven did not come about as a result of somebody trying to find a better, faster way to cook. During World War II, two scientists invented the magnetron, a tube that produces microwaves. Installing magnetrons in Britain's radar system, the microwaves were able to spot Nazi warplanes on their way to bomb the British Isles. Here's a picture of the magnetron. Raytheon knew they had a hit on their hands and began producing the first commercial microwave ovens in 1946. They decided to file a patent for Spencer's invention a year before, on October 8, 1945. Resembling a refrigerator more than a modern microwave, the first model stood over 5 feet tall and weighed over 750 pounds. A consumer version wasn't available to American homes until 1967 when Raytheon acquired Amata and introduced the first radar range with a massive marketing campaign. Introduced in Chicago, the world's first microwave oven featured 115 watts of power and retailed for $495. Here's a picture of the first microwave oven. Now here to talk about the growing up with the microwave, Anne. Hi, Anne. Thanks for having me. Okay, Anne, so what was it like growing up about the same time the microwave was only 20 to 30 years old? Well, Sarah, growing up in the 60s and 70s, microwaves were really expensive. I moved around a lot growing up, and in all the houses we lived in, we never had a microwave. Of course, now when you buy a house, depending on what age the house is you buy, there's already a microwave there. So how expensive do you suppose the microwaves were at the time you were growing up? They were probably around 100 to 200 dollars. That was the main reason why I never had one in my house growing up. Now we use them for so many things and take them for granted. Although you can't cook everything in them, they're good for heating up leftovers or making a snack like popcorn. Plus they make food now especially for microwaves, like microwave popcorn, meals such as lean cuisine, and more. Did you have any friends that had microwaves? I had a few. I had a neighbor that I was friends with and she had a microwave. Back then, they didn't cook very fast, but I also remember being a little jealous because she, could, because she could have microwave popcorn while I was stuck having Jiffy Pop that we cooked on our stove. Do you think people take the microwaves for granted today? I think they do. Like I said, we use it for so many things today. They make so many different types of food just for the microwave, although most of those foods have an oven option when it comes to heating it up. Most people disregard that option because they have a microwave. Ovens are now looked at as being used to cook mass amounts of food that don't fit in a microwave. Alright Anne, thanks for being here today. My pleasure. As we all know, the microwave oven is widely used in households everywhere today. Here's the deal at the Smith's house. Now I understand you're doing a demo? <laughs> That's right Sarah. We are here at the Smith house and with Abby doing a demo on how to cook microwave popcorn to test it against it. We are using Jiffy Pop, which will be cooked over on the stove. She will be using both microwave and the stove. She will be cooking the microwave popcorn in the microwave and then the, cooking the Jiffy Pop on the stove. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go! as soon as they finish. Just to go along with the competition, here's a commercial for the microwave popcorn in the 1980s. Hello, I'm Arnold Redenbacher. When 
my famous gourmet popping corn and my gourmet microwave popping corn in handy pop and serve banks. My special kernels pop lighter and fluffier than other corns. So do mine. Just pop it in your microwave, then pop it in your mouth. Mine tastes light and fluffy, too. So does mine. Pop my gourmet popping corn or my gourmet microwave popping corn. For the lightest, fluffiest popcorn, there's only one. Orville Redenbacher. Now back to Nathaniel with the competition. How are you guys holding up over there? Great. There's popcorn all over the place and it smells great. Now we have popping times on my phone. This time is the microwave time on popcorn mode. And this is the Jiffy Pops time. As you can see, the microwave popcorn popped faster than the Jiffy Pops. So it's proven that the microwave can cook and heat up food faster than the stove. Back to you, Sarah. Thanks, Nathaniel. As you can see, the microwave has come so far since 1946. Now it's become a part of cooking in our daily routine. From only being used in restaurants to now being used at home, the microwave has played a big role in shaping how we function in our daily lives today. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to WBAS News. Have a great day.